Good afternoon, Bright Buddies. I thought I'd do a quick review on the um, uh, the six plate and the seven plate clutch conversion for the Triumph Bonneville. When I first got this bike, it had a seven plate conversion in it, and the, and the plates were knackered. So rather than spend a hundred pounds or so on a new seven plate setup. I uh, went for the cheaper 30 pound option for the the, uh, the the original six plates and riding it with the um, just the standard setup it got to the point where I didn't really want to ride it anymore because the clutch was so heavy I tried um, actually I improved it slightly by putting T120 clutch springs in which is which are slightly weaker than the T140s that made a little bit of difference but what I'd I still couldn't get the uh, the fierceness of how, how, how much you had to pull that clutch lever in to get it to actually uh, feel comfortable so the other week I uh, decided enough was enough and give the clutch an overhaul so I went out and got the uh, the seven plate clutch set up and while doing that I put a new clutch lifter in and uh, also rerouted the cable and the biggest thing that I've noticed um, straight away is how smooth this seven plate clutch is compared to the six plates and the uh, just pulling away, it doesn't doesn't want to jutter, it doesn't sort of like want to grab. It just it just pulls away really smoothly, which is uh, quite amazing, really, for from what it was. Also, now it's on the. Uh, I mean, the, the the clutch is much easier to pull in now. It's, it's makes me want to ride it a lot more and not worry about stopping in traffic jams or having to change gears all over the place as before I, you know, I started riding the XS650 around because it was, it was getting too much for the for my, my old arms you know my old wrists now it's just so easy to change gear and also I've noticed as well changing gear is, is you know with it just seems much easier, they just sort of like slipping, slipping and out of gears much easier whereas with that old six plate clutch you know, it's a sort of good in there, do you know what I mean? get it down a gear, get it up a gear it is like a task now, I mean look at that straight, straight in I mean, this is a joy to ride now, this bike. I took it for an MOT this morning and they failed me because I had a black and white number plate. <laughs> so I had to drive it home, change the plate, take it back and they passed me. I don't blame them though because they get in trouble if they passed, you know, passed the bike with a... With an, black and white number plate when it's uh, supposed to be a yellow one. Let's go left. I do like the the, the grunt of this bike when it <coughs> when it pulls away. I, I had uh, I, I put pea shooters on it. Well it came with pea shooters originally and then and all the time they just kept fouling the plugs, just set oiling our plugs up no matter what I've done so uh, oh, a couple of days ago I put the, uh, the car show, you know the old car silencers back on and no kidding this thing is just it's just got some oomph behind it now <laughs> no no puddle I've just cleaned it <laughs> Yeah, Dennis Bigel. Aston Ford at the bottom. 
yeah, so I'm, I'm well happy at the moment with the clutch. It does, uh, it just feels really good. What else have I done to it? Oh yeah, when I, when I first got this bike, when I first got this bike, it had um, uh, it's got uh, it had um, positive earth. It was positive earth, right? So, and then I then I took out I took out the old rectifier and the, the, the Zener diode and the condensers and just got a shot of all that and the and the points got got a shot of everything. Right, and I put a boiler ignition in it. And put a, a regulator rectifier in it. But what I done wrong, <laughs> what I done wrong is I, I only wired the rectifier up to negative earth when the bike was positive earth. Right, and because it had a, a, a reasonably good battery in, I didn't, it, you know, it, it, it kept going. Do you know what I mean? I, I, I rode to London and back on it, I, I rode around until, until eventually the battery died because it obviously wasn't charging. And then um, I couldn't work it out. And one day, you know, I, I, I had the ignition on. I put a new battery in. I ignition ignition on, and I turned, I, I turned it on, and it kept cutting out. So I felt the wires, and I was red hot under the seat. So I'm surprised the thing didn't catch a light. And then I realised what I'd done. And by then, the, I'd, I'd fucked the rectifier. So that was no good anymore. So the, uh, the last week, I put a new regulate a rectifier on it, a new battery on it and convert it, convert it the whole thing to negative earth rather than positive earth because I don't want to make any more mistakes so now this bike is negative earth and I uh, checked all the wiring, double checked the wiring put the old voltmeter on and everything and it's, it's, it's perfect all round now, it's exactly as it should be lights work alright you can tell it's charging when you give it a little rev that you know the, the lights come up a little bit brighter from leaving it from tick over that's another thing yeah when i rerouted my um, clutch cable the, cl the clutch cable come down across right down in front of that or just right behind that that light switch so at night when i was riding around every time i turned left the cable turned the lights off <laughs> so there's another reason i like to route the cable differently now so I can actually ride at night with that going around the corner in the pitch black what else I done on it? that's about it I think give it a clean up put some air in the tyres oh yeah it's uh, Another thing, when I was, was kicking it over last year, the, 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 the kickstart, kickstart ratchet uh, jumped a couple of times, so you, you got to kick it over and then the next minute you're stamping your foot on the floor because the kickstart just goes straight down. So I ordered a new, um, I when, I, when I took the um, side casing off for the gearbox, I checked the ratchet there and it was a bit, it's a bit naff really, so I... Uh, ordered a new one of them and I, I, all, all I ordered was the just the ratchet part and what they sent me was the ratchet and the pinion and the spring and the um, the locking uh, locking washer the tab washer which I thought was um, pretty good really <laughs> so I, what I had to do is I had to uh, changed a whole lot then so the result there really not a bad deal I must say which makes me uh, well which convinced me to buy all my stuff from this particular shop now anyway in case they make any more mistakes by sending me some extra bits but that's off to them 
whether they done it purposely, I, I, don't, I don't know. But it, I mean, they was all packed separately, so they must have known. But yeah, definitely, uh, definitely one of my top shops now for British bike hits. Yeah, when I originally um, was having issues with the electrics and all that kind of stuff, I bypassed the, um, the, the cutout switch on the right hand side, the handlebar switch is right hand side. So I put all that back to normal yesterday as well. So now my um, cutout switch works okay. Yeah, so now. Now the poor excess is going to have to be put away in the garage for a while now. Well, I suppose I could clean that up and give that an overhaul while I'm riding around on Triumph. As for the uh, the six plate and the seven plate clutch conversion, I definitely recommend the seven plate clutch conversion. Definitely, much much better. Anyway, that was my little uh, review of the my clutch plate conversion. One thing I, uh, annoys me about these bikes really is if this was a year older, I would have a neutral light. But I don't, I don't have a neutral light on this. It's not a big deal really, but it's just one of those things that you're used to after riding newer bikes around for years. Yeah. It's definitely a comfortable bike to ride though as well. I mean I'm 5 foot 11 and I reckon this is just a right size for me this bike. It's a lot lighter than the XS as well believe it or not. Well feel, it feels, it's, well it's not a lot lighter but it, you can move it around much easier. Anyway, that's my review over and done with. Don't think there's anything I've missed. No, no. Oh yeah, that's what I've done. I've also replaced the uh, the clutch spring cups. It's when I took the uh, when I when I changed the plate saver. I had a quick look at the cups and believe it or not one of the springs had worn through the one of the spring cups so while it was all off <coughs> while it was all off I thought oh, might as well just change them as well then so uh, here we go and with my new with my new um, rectifier regulator and battery my indicator <laughs> indicators work now and don't stop and start the bike every time I want to turn a different direction. <laughs> this bike has done 14,000 miles. 14,279 279 miles. Not a lot really is it? I've got all the MOTs to back that up as well. My XS has done 30 plus thousand miles. <laughs> <laughs> 